Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to come on and talk about how you can help your hormonal headaches. Um, headaches that are timed with your cycle are very common for women that have imbalances or issues processing their hormones, estrogens or progesterones. Most commonly, it's due to an issue with estrogen. Um, and when we talk about headaches in general, I mean, there can be over three different, 300 different types or causes of headaches. That means that if you're trying to like, oh, why do I have a headache? Oh, what's going on? Are you dehydrated? Did you get enough to eat today? Um, you know, did you sleep funny? Do you have tension somewhere, right? Like there's so many different causes for headaches overall. But if you've realized that, oh my gosh, holy cow, I have a headache at this time of the month, or I have a headache when I ovulate. I have a headache right before I start my period. That is very common for women. So when you're looking at hormonal headaches and getting some help with this, it's a different thing to look at this um, and go after helping your hormonal headaches versus just regular headaches. So when we look at hormonal headaches, the reason you have them is because there's an issue with either your liver processing those hormones because majority of hormones are processed by your liver. So your liver's not keeping up, not doing its job. You could have gut issues, again, not processing those hormones and flushing everything through. Um, issues with your sleep, you're not getting enough rest to help that, you know, um, process happen overnight or issues with your blood sugar. Yeah. So here are some things to really help and focus on. Um, these things, they're very simple. There are just a few things, but they can actually make a really big impact. Now, if you start doing this today and you're like, Oh no, I'm supposed to get my period in two days and I'm going to get a headache. Is it going to help? Maybe not for the first one. The most important thing to do with these things is to do it consistently. Your health is cumulative. So the more you do this, the better things are gonna be for your hormones. First thing is get enough protein in your day, uh, protein pacing, that type of a thing. You can use things to help flush your liver. Um, you know, sometimes women will go through liver cleanses. You know, when we work together, you know, in the 12 week challenge, I will take you through a specific hormone detox based on whatever your Dutch test says in terms of your hormone processing, because everybody who does uh, the 12 week gets a Dutch test. Yes, awesome. Um, so it, that's very tailored, but in general, if you're looking at things for liver, things like dandelion tea, very helpful for liver. You'd have to drink some every day for it to be effective. Broccoli sprouts, really great for hormones and liver. Yeah. Fresh broccoli sprouts, just have some every day. Um, when we look at gut issues and your system processing through the gut, probiotics, digestive enzymes, again, every day are really helpful to get your body regulate. Now, if you have a lot of gut issues, maybe you have a candida issues or, you know, yeast overgrowth in your gut, maybe you have a H. pylori issue, you know, something like that. Is this going to cut it? Maybe not. So we have to look further into that, of course, but this can really help and get you ahead of the game in terms of processing these hormones so you don't get headaches from them. Um, and then there's seed cycling. Seed cycling is amazing. Seed cycling is super helpful to help regulate your hormones to balance things out so you're not getting these headaches. And I talk about these things in my book, The Female Fat Solution. I talk about how to eat for your hormones in your cycle. And then um, this book, The Female Menopause Solution, talks about how to eat for your perimenopausal, menopausal body. Because a lot of women who are in perimenopause will still get hormonal headaches. Yeah, that's not fun. If you're looking for other resources, you can always check out my YouTube channel, which is called Dr. Beth Westy. And then my podcast is called The Female Health Solution, uh, where you can subscribe to stay updated on all the things I am releasing. So that's what I got for you guys today. Let me know if you have any other questions. Otherwise, I will see you later.